the real problem is that because you've had rain continually for days, rivers already overflowing, ground very weak, uh, then when you have more rain, it can trigger more landslides. And in villages like La Pintada, where the 58 people are missing, they're trying to dig people out of, of the, the debris and risking more landslides while that's happening. So that, that really is a, a major concern, a major risk, and people really are bracing themselves for the situation going from bad to worse. Now, one of the questions, I suppose, is whether Mexico is at all in any position to deal with this double blow, uh, this extraordinary bad luck of seeing uh, these two uh, tremendously powerful storms, one coming from the Pacific coast, one from the Gulf. Are the authorities uh, prepared to deal with the fallout of that? Well, it certainly was a very uh, unfortunate incident, like you said, having two major storms at the same time, an Atlantic uh, tropical storm and a Pacific one slamming the country. Uh, but I've, I've been covering these kind of relief operations in Mexico for the last 10 years. And I think one thing is Mexico has developed quite a good response. It, uh, it has the army does work very well in this kind of disaster relief. Uh, it has very good use of all of the media, getting the word around. Uh, and they have had a quite a strong reaction on the ground. So, so a very difficult situation to contend to, but they are uh, dealing with, I think, as best as they can under the circumstances.